everyone, it's Leaners, and this is episode four of my series, Diary of a Streamer, where I document my journey of hopefully making a full-time income from streaming and content creation in general. If you are new here, this vlog is a behind the scenes look at what I'm doing to grow my stream and to make a full-time income from content creation. With this series, my whole idea is to be transparent and to hopefully help people along the way who are on a similar journey to me. If that sounds exciting to you, please like this video and subscribe and let's get into it. One thing I just wanted to address before I jump into everything and the numbers and such is I've received some feedback both publicly and privately and I just want to say thank you to whoever is giving me feedback, especially if it's nice constructive feedback. I may not take it all on board. In fact, I, I probably won't take it all on board, but some of it I definitely will. I think feedback can be very useful at times and something that uh, was brought to my attention was that they wanted to see more of the strategy strategies I'm taking, which I actually thought I was already getting into that in my video. So what that tells me is maybe I'm not being so clear and I'm not connecting the dots as well as I should be for people who are watching this video. So I'm going to try to do better with that going forward. So yes, thanks everyone. And with that, I will jump into my streams last week. So my streams last week, I only did two streams. I only streamed a TCG Card Shop Simulator. That game has had a serious hold on me. Some highlights of those streams was I made a plushie wall in game and I pulled another ghost card. So that was really exciting. So I'm going to show my numbers for those two streams now. All right, so this was my stream from Tuesday, October 29th. I had an average of 20 viewers, two follows, 13 subscriptions, revenue was $36.13, and my time streamed was almost four hours. Um, really happy with this. My viewership has gone up again from last week, and I will be doing an overall week-by-week -week comparison to the previous week, so I'll have a better idea of the difference in viewership from this week to last. And this was Wednesday, October 30th, an average of 25 viewers. Again, it's gone up. I'm super stoked about that because I really do want to um, grow my viewership. I got two follows, revenue of 65 cents, and I streamed for three hours. Now let's look week on week. Okay, so this is the previous week. So October 21st to October 27th had an average of 17 viewers, six follows, five subscriptions, $17.57 in revenue, and my time stream was seven hours and six minutes. Now this week, October or this past week, October 28th to November the 3rd, an average viewers of 22, four follows, 13 subscriptions, revenue was $36.78, and my time stream was just a bit less at six hours and 55 minutes. So I'm really happy at this progression. It was 17 average viewers the previous week with a revenue of $17.57, and average viewers from this past week was 22. So that's that is quite a jump over the week. I don't, hopefully this momentum will continue, but the nature of streaming says it doesn't always. So, you know, I'm prepared for a drop in viewership, but let, I hope that it will continue to keep moving up. Overall, I'm just super happy with my stream's progression. So thank you everyone um, who has been a part of that. I appreciate you so much. With keeping like the idea of strategy in mind that I mentioned at the beginning of this I almost said stream at the beginning of this video. Why do I tend to focus on average viewers? Well, there's a few reasons for that. First off, to become a Twitch partner, you need to have an average viewership of 75. And in general, average viewership, from what I understand, I'm not an expert, I'm still learning this myself, but when brands look at working with you, they do look at your average viewership. Um, I think followers, they look into followers as well, but on Twitch in particular, average viewership tends to be one of the more important stats. Now, what to expect from my streams this week? So I'm doing three streams this week, and Tuesday and Wednesday will be Palia and TCG Card Shop Simulator. I've been playing Palia quite a bit off stream to get better at the game and to get a bit further ahead because I always feel like I'm so far behind everyone else, and also I just really enjoy playing that game, so... I was able to have some time to myself to play that game more off stream. So I'm excited to play it on stream again because last week I didn't stream it at all. And on Sunday, I'm going to bring back Little Goody Two Shoes. I streamed it once a couple weeks ago and I have an idea to make that into a YouTube playthrough series. So I'm going to take the streams content on Sunday from Little Goody Two Shoes and I'm going to include that in my YouTube playthrough. 
again on the topic of strategy, why am I focusing on putting out content on YouTube? And actually in other videos of this series, I've talked a lot about TikTok, posting on TikTok, posting on Instagram. The reason I want to post so much on these other platforms is so that you can broaden your reach um, for bringing people over to Twitch, over to the stream. Twitch is notoriously bad for discoverability. And so a lot of streamers and content creators use all these different platforms to reach more people. So that's why I'm building up my presence on these other platforms so much. So a part of that is building up my YouTube channel. It's going to be different content from my stream, but still very much relevant to my stream and connected to my stream. So with this series of my diary of a streamer behind the scenes, sort of numbers talk and strategy, etc., etc., there will also be playthroughs of games and potentially other content that I have in my mind that haven't fully been fleshed out yet. So stay tuned. Now my goals from this past week. How did that go? So one of my goals from this past week was to research a camera and decide on what I want to eventually save up for. For when my wonderful webcam that I've had with me for the last five years finally dies, which it is kind of on the way there. And also I just feel like while this is decent quality, I would like to upgrade the quality. Again, strategy, I just want my stream to look as good as it possibly possibly can, as professional as it possibly can. And I'm feeling like I would love to have that next level of video quality in my content. Um, it is a long-term goal. It is quite expensive and that's tying into how it's gone this week. I have done some research. I've talked to some fellow streamer friends of mine whose um, setups I really think looks good. And I have some ideas some I have some things floating around in my head like the Sony mirrorless cameras there's a few options there so this is something that's a bit ongoing so I will once I make a decision will update you as to why I made the decision and what I like about the camera etc etc either in this series as a brief little snippet or in a separate video but something that I realized from this research is that actually maybe my phone camera could serve as something in the in term that could be pretty good quality or even or better than this webcam quality. I don't really want to use my current mobile phone because I use it for other things, but I do have my previous mobile phone hanging around and that camera from what I remember was really good. So I'm going to try and use that and see maybe that quality is good enough, at least for right now until I have enough money to buy a um, Sony mirrorless camera or something like that. Um, when I decide. Another one of my goals was to go live on TikTok with like goals and I didn't do that. I mentioned in my last video that I had less days available towards content creation because I had to do some travel. I think I was a little too ambitious by including that into the mix. I didn't get to go live. I have mapped out some like goals though, so at least I did that. And then my last goal from the previous week was to flesh out my Blue Sky account. And if you're not already following me on Blue Sky, please do. I will put the link in the description below. I did flesh that out a bit. I made my first post. I, I reposted something. I made it look pretty similar to how my Twitter looks because I'm happy with how my Twitter looks. And Blue Sky essentially is Twitter. It just seems like it's maybe a nicer place from what people are saying. I will show you a little bit of my Blue Sky account and what it's looking like now. Here's my Blue Sky account. Um, if you are already following me on Twitter, this will probably look very familiar. But something that I pinned up here that I saw a lot of people were doing for the algorithm and to reach people who are similar or to reach people who have similar interests is I just listed all these different interests that I have involving my stream and content creation, just me as a person, some stuff that I want to see on my feed, etc, etc. So and actually just posting this seems to have done that because I'm getting a bit more relevant topics in my discover page. I think that's what it's called here. So if you're getting on Blue Sky, this is a good idea. Idea, I think because it seems to be it, it seems to have done the trick of providing me with more relevant posts that I want to see. So now we talked about goals from last week. What are my goals for this week? So goal for this week, I'm going to try out my old mobile phone as a webcam and see how that goes because I want my stream to look as good as possible. And I feel like maybe that camera will be better than my current webcam. I would like to go live on TikTok with like goals and see what that does for viewership on that platform. Why do I want to go live on TikTok? Well, 
TikTok is one of the best platforms right now for discoverability. So in order to build a stream, again, a lot of people are utilizing TikTok for that because TikTok has the best algorithm at the moment and the best reach. Another goal for this week is I would like to release my first episode of my Little Goody Two Shoes playthrough. And the last goal is I would like to change my stream backdrop because we're in November now. It's no longer October. So these, oh, these are going to come down. The pumpkin's going to get put away. It's sad, but it's November. And so I want to decide on what I'm going to do with my stream backdrop because right now, the way that once these are taken down, it's going to be quite plain and I don't want that. So I want to spruce things up in here. So is this too much? I don't know. I feel like I keep giving myself goals and I'm not always meeting them. So again, this is something else that I'm going to get better at and more realistic with. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So yeah, goals. Try out old phone as webcam. Go live on TikTok with like goals. The reason likes are so important on TikTok is because that helps push your stream out to the For You page. So if you're ever watching a TikTok live stream, just tap on the screen of your phone to give likes and that will help push that content out onto people's For You pages. Um, so third one, release first episode of my playthrough of Little Goody Two Shoes on YouTube. And four, come up with a new stream backdrop. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Diary of a Streamer. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. Look at the description below for all my links. And I'll see you next week for the next episode of Diary of a Streamer. Thank you so much. Peace out.